Um, I used to drink out of the toilet sometimes when I was a kid. You want to unpack that? <laughs> and I was like, there go water. <laughs> You know what I recently learned about you? That you were on That So Raven. Yes. She gave me some of the best advice. What did I say? Learn your line. It seems unfair. I'm going to be right back. <laughs> wait, where are you going? I don't know. I'm just going to be right back. Because this, this just seems unfair. You guys talk amongst yourselves. Well, you know what I learned in marriage? Don't question it. What'd I say? Was I nice? We laughed a lot and you Thanks. were like, just relax. Just be comfortable with the lines. Just know, just know what it is. <laughs> and just relax. You got this. That was the one where I was inside of a big plant. Yes. It was very interesting. But no, it's it's really amazing because some people just fall off and you have such commitment. Step, 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 step. What's next? I'm opening a grocery store. Stop at what? And yeah, opening a grocery store, black owned grocery store. Yes. And I want a majority of the products to come from black vendors and black farmers. And it won't be just a store, but it'll be like financial literacy classes there and cooking classes. Because I think once you know how food works and you know how money works, you become a more productive, happier human being. First of all, yes, because we can be in the industry as long as we can, but if you don't do anything to help your community or give back, real success never comes. To me, success is waking up, because everybody don't get to do that every day. I find the success in the little things, and then those big things that everybody's like, oh, you're so successful, look at you, you're winning. Like, that's cute, that's like a side effect of yeah. the- The realness. <laughs> Now I think we can really get started. <laughs> Why do it look like you got on a feather hat from 1943? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Tiffany walked in today with new hair. You were supposed to be blonde, Tiffany. I know, I was gonna be blonde, and then I said, you know what, let's dye it today. Good I mean, you. it's beautiful, but like... Mm -hmm. maybe you, you are a beautiful woman. <laughs> Thank you. God made you perfect yes, with did. what God gave you. Not now, this. sometimes when people try to add on to what God did, Ooh. it ain't the same. <laughs> Wait, so now that we are all suited up and ready to go, do you guys want to get into some tea? Yeah, yeah let's, let's get, get into, into some the tea. Tiffany, do us an honor. Put your hand in there, pull something out. <laughs> and this is your <clears throat> Worst fashion advice. Ooh. And I think or we should her. just add to the list of just worst fashion moments in our life. I got a couple. Okay, all right. I first mean, I, I got a lot, but I want to hear yours <laughs> first. No, no. I mean, you can count from 1999 to 2010. Every outfit I wore was a problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, you were dressed so cute when you was a little girl. When you was a kid, yeah. you were yeah, so before so 1999 cute. when my parents were dressing So when, what age did it turn? When I got 18 and I was pissed at the world and I was mad that everybody around me was super skinny and I couldn't wear the same clothes. I was mad that I was so thick. So I would literally walk on the carpet like in my head with a big F you around me. You can see all those pictures. And I was lesbian and I couldn't wear what I really wanted to wear so I was pissed. I remember right before I turned two I was wearing a lot of corsets. Mm. A lot of corsets. And titties were up, the titties. up here and I was just like I can't breathe. The bitch can't sit down. It was a mess. And mm. then now I'm like, like I'm gonna be comfortable. <laughs> Every day I'm Comfortable. Okay, what's some of the worst fashion advice you've ever gotten? Um, somebody told me to tape my boobs together to make cleavage. And I used duct Ooh. tape Ooh. because I heard about the duct tape. What they didn't tell me was don't put that duct tape on your nipple part. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what they should have how to take that off. Ooh, it's you know, not or yeah. oil. Well, my dumb ass <laughs> was just like, I'm going to pull it off like a band-aid. And yeah, and I pulled off a little bit of my nipple. <gasps> Not my actual nipple, just a little bit of nipple skin. The areola? Yeah. Viola and the nip, nip. <laughs> the viola and, and the nipple. Uh, yes. It was a problem. Oh, that hurts. That's a wax. It was a wax. Hell then no. another time, and we was filming in Vegas, and it was cold, and somebody was like, oh, put the hot, the hot hands the oh, side of your titty. In the side of your titties oh, you're inside your bra to keep you warm. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> My skin sensitive. Uh, so I had hot hand burn marks. 
No. Right oh, here. On the chest. And I have little titties. So it was more so my armpit. Why mm. you got all this titty trauma in the But mind? now I know you use KT tape. If you use the KT tape that you use for like your knees yeah. and the athletes yeah. use, that's a lot better. There's a tape that people in the transgender community use that I actually use as well when I need to tape my boobies down. Mm -hmm. I get a little bit of a rash from that if I don't mm -hmm. take it off appropriately. So anything in that area is super sensitive. sensitive. Yeah, because it's not sensitive. exposed to the elements. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. It's exposed to mouths. Yeah. yeah that's, about <laughs> that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Okay, so what about okay. your fashion faux pas, including I think that wig? I, that, yeah, well, other than this beautiful thing, I was told once that if something doesn't work, just put a blazer on. And <laughs> if you can put it on, it fits. That's a lie. No, that's not true. That's mm -hmm. probably two of the worst pieces of that's fashion really advice I've ever bad. given. Don't do that. Yeah. 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 It doesn't beat my happy green giant outfit. You guys, look it up. It's a happy green yeah, giant. Yeah, she's really traumatized by this one. I am. Listen, here's the reason why. One, I was probably 220 pounds. They put me in a green dress. And my hair, I didn't put a weave in that time, but I also had to lotion my body and the oil got on the dress and I couldn't change by that time. So I'm like sitting there like knowing that I have oil stains all over my dress for a Tinkerbell preview. And I'm really, really swollen. Is that the pissed. same one that Perez Hilton called you a poodle? No, that's not the one that Perez Hilton called me a poodle, that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Can I to ask you a question? Mm -hmm. I've been wanting to ask you this since we saw you at that event. Oh my you, God, yeah. first of all, looked so beautiful that evening. You know what I'm talking about? We were the at thing. the Holly Rod event. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. And you looked so beautiful that evening, but you also had this gorgeous diamond lanyard on with a massive horse head. That was a unicorn. A I, unicorn. I designed that. Yeah, black, the black unicorn. I almost wore that today, and I was like... I... Yeah, I do. love that because we were sitting kind of across the runway from each other and I kept looking at that and I was like, Tiffany is giving. That so is she gorgeous. designed it. I designed it. Are you coming out with a jewelry line? Because we want one. I never thought of that, but now that you say that, You're welcome. she ready jewelry is on <laughs> yes. way. She ready jewelry. She ready jewelry. That's and cute, be honey. unicorn stuff. And why yeah. a unicorn? Because I like to think of myself as a unicorn. You are. You know, and I'm rare. Uh, it's not a lot of people like me. Mm -hmm. And although you might imagine or s actually think you see one, you don't see me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you don't true. see me. But you know I exist. <sighs> Let me tell you but about you, how serious that comment is because just because we're in the industry and you see us in our whatever, in our state and when it comes in the red carpet or if you see us in a news article, you still don't see us when we wake up and when we're thinking to ourselves in the mirror when we're brushing our teeth, we still gotta put on that face. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I put on the face for myself so I can say, who am I really? Cause I gotta put on so many hats for so many people to get shit done. That part. We still don't know who you are because at the same time, that's for you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like that's just for you. So I and for whoever that. lived with me, which yeah, is my two saying... cats and a dog. <laughs> and, and their names are? Uh, Sleepy Black Man, Mega Man, and Sleeper. <laughs> I got a, a sleeping problem. Okay. Uh, what do you guys oh wear when you sleep? Cause fashion exists in sleep too, FYI. Oh, nice way to bring it back You're home, welcome. Babe. I prefer to just sleep in underwear yeah. and that's it. Your Calvin. My granny panties. <laughs> oh, yeah, my coming. full blown bloomers is what I prefer. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but in the winter time, I'll do a t-shirt and some drawers, or I'll do like a full pajama thing, depending on where I'm at in the world. Like a That's matching cute. set? Mm -hmm. Or mitch match. That's and, cute. And I'll be wearing old pajamas. But old they're the stuff. warmest and they're the softest. Yeah, and they, they yeah. feel the best. They might have holes in it and chicken grease stains, but they feel the that best. Feels they the feel the best. best. Uh, lately, I've been sleeping <laughs> with just my underwear and uh, sleepy black man, my cat. He been um, best um, name. Uh, if the, if my covers come down too low, he been batting at my nipples, <laughs> and that's how I been waking up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And um, yeah, I'm trying not to abuse him, but I but he you know he started it though. He started, he started it. Started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it scared me. It Don't be mad at me, me Peter. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Peter. Sorry, Peter. Me being that my wife likes to sleep in cold, I'm in Balenciaga sweatpants <laughs> and a hoodie of my choosing, and I am wrapped in bundles. <laughs> so funny. She is so. Yep. I wear the uh -huh. same outfit I wear during the day. I just stay in the same clothes. Beanie like, socks. Gotta go to this job interview. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm dressed already. <laughs> Let's literally, go. Literally, literally, yeah. story of our it's life. It's fucking cold in this house. Yeah, we we probably. I'm anemic. I'm anemic too. Oh, you anemic too, so you run cold. I run very cold. I will but wear. You, you're getting your iron up. Yeah. I'm gonna bring you some collard greens. 
Mm. Thank you. You need to be eating collard greens at least once a month. What you put in your collard greens? Depends on, are you vegetarian? No, girl, I need a meat. Okay, so I got you with the smoked turkey. Thank you very much. Okay, or smoked turkey leg. Do you put sugar or vinegar in yours? Vinegar. Girl, you can come cook for me anytime. Vinegar, a little liquid smoke. Nice. Got the onions. What about a <laughs> you put it in yes. <laughs> my wife's learning don't worry about it i'm She's not coming. don't even try you're and make learning it, don't try and make me sound like i'm not we passed the ham you put some kind of pork in your green if i put pork in my greens it's, it's um like bacon? yeah it's mm-hmm. like a thick mm-hmm. bacon but i don't mm-hmm. put a ham hock that's like super southern 1972 yeah that's that's what we did back in the day and you that's when it be like and then when it get cold it be like that white shit floating yeah, all you around can't do that, you know? oh. then you can't even eat the greens cold no. you gotta warm them up but see the way <laughs> we make them like well, i make them anyway let us know you know uh i can eat them cold or i can eat them yeah hot. You know, you know, the ham hock could be too greasy. Exactly. You know, and you don't want no greasy ass greens. No. Let me tell you, I make no. a I make a hoity toity green. I use a pancetta sometimes. Mm. See, so I mean, she gets all. And I do a pancetta pork. and a yeah, that. but it's not a ham hock. I do a pancetta <laughs> and um, some onions, and I do that, and then I chiffonade. I mm, chiffonade yeah. my greens. I don't naturally tear green. them. I chiffonade them. And I now, put my Now break down. What is a chiffonade? A chiffonade is you roll the greens up mm-hmm. in like a, a nice little fat one. Mm-hmm, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then you slice it so that when they open up, they look like a linguine. Oh, okay. Yeah, I do that so too. So like pasta. Yeah, I do that too. Of, you know what I mean? So it's chiffonade. Called, cut your greens. <laughs> With a knife. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that she been not. She been she been watching the Food Network or something. All day long. Okay, okay, okay. okay. All we do. And she watching that food porn. Okay, that's the Have you ever had a collard green burger? The green is the bun. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Seems like that might taste a little bit like crunchy. <laughs> no, I'm, you'll be surprised. Where did you have that? Just, I had that. They don't soften them up. It's just oh, like oh no no raw. no, it's it's boiled and it's boiled oh. correctly and it tastes like one of our good collard greens. And then it's cold and they wrap it up and I had it with a nice fat burger and some gruyere 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 gruyere. It was what ju- is gruyere? It's gruyere. It's, it's, like cheese. Cheese. it's, it's a, a cheese. It's a kind of cheese. It's a delicious cheese. It's good. Do you steak? like cheese? No, no it's not. I'm lactose intolerant. Oh, girl, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm black and I'm Jewish. You know, my digestive system is different. Real it, different. It, 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 it's real it, it, it's different. It's sensitive. Understood. Yeah, you talking about some gas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I miss government cheese, personally. There you Interesting. go. I miss that. They you don't even it? make that no more. You could get that. for sure. yellow. Where I'm going to find you some government cheese. If you could find me some government cheese. You'll be my best friend forever. I will be your bestie forever. Challenge. And I will be bringing you collard greens every month. <laughs> Thank you very much. I like it during the new moon. I appreciate mm-hmm. it. You guys, let's make a toast. Mm-hmm. Mm. And we're making a toast Tell us. to this woman who got her mail delivered and it would always go to her neighbor, mm-hmm. right? And every time she'd go over, the woman would say, no, I don't. And she was like, no, I know you do. And she stays home one day because she has an important package coming. She stays home from work that day. Her package goes to her neighbor. She goes right over when she sees it's been delivered and she knocks and she's like, you have my package. And the woman's like, no, I don't. And it's she's huge. like, literally, no, you have my package. About 15 minutes later, the woman, her her next door neighbor comes over banging on her door and she was like, because of you, I now have a tarantula loose in my house. Mm -hmm. And the woman said, oh, so you do have my packages. (laughs) (laughs) Would you do something like that to get a person back? Mm -hmm. I would have crickets delivered. Ooh. Crickets. Yes. Baby. Yes, Yes, baby. Crickets. That's terrible. That's so smart. I would have to just follow Tiffany with that one. You know what I would do? Oh. Or ladybugs. I would just set fire. I would, no, 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 no. Don't set no fire. No, 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 no. no arson. Mail, mail yourself some doo doo. There it is. And then set it on and fire, it Billy on. Madison. You keep wanting to no, no, set no, no, shit no. on fire, no, babe. We are can't you do a that. Pyromaniac? Do you see her hair? Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> She looks like one of them to be like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna set it on fire. And you're supposed to be in there like this super thick bra. Exactly. And, like, the thing. <laughs> and then like, Not cute. like the panties that go up to right here, the ones that you wear at night. The ones that you wear at night. The ones that come to your belly button. They go up to your ribs. Exactly. Yeah. All the way. Mm. So it's so like cute. a chastity belt. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. Today has been really, really fun. Yeah, I have fun with you guys. Thank you for coming over. You're so fun. Thank you for having me. Thanks for spilling some tea with us. But she hasn't done spilling the tea. Spill the real tea, because we know you got a book coming out. 
Yes, I have a book coming called I Curse You With Joy. Well, it's Tiffany Haddish, I Curse You With Joy. And it is basically like my journey over, it's a bunch of essays about like my journey over the last few years mm -hmm. since Girls Trip came out and, and how I wish somebody would have made a manual on how to be a, a star. <gasps> How to handle ah, fame. I, yes, Tiffany. How to handle everybody being in your business and still be strong and still be yourself. And while, while, ooh, I almost spilled the tea for <laughs> And while, uh, you know, people like they're surrounding the team that's supposed to be protecting you and like you're the nucleus and then everybody's around you um, is supposed to be protecting you. They really are not sometimes and they really are trying to get what they want. And, and what it took me to realize is, like, nobody really, nobody really gives a fuck about you unless you can get them what, what they, they want. want. And just like, I want what I want, but what I want is for everybody else. And that, mm. I have learned that I gotta change that. And I can't help them all. And I can't give everybody what they want. So fuck these niggas. <laughs> Thank you so much Thank for you. making that book. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna go into it because I want that to be the end of it, but I want you guys to read it because she had such a interesting introduction into the industry at such a time, so fast, so quick, where I'm sure you had to learn on but your toes. But it was toes. a long time. It was a long time. Because I started in 96. I started doing stand-up in 96. Yes, there's a difference. You had the you had the just book. fucking wrap us up so I can get <laughs> okay. the top of my head. All right, all right. No, she's an angry white woman. It's about goddamn time. <laughs> oh shit! It, oh, and, it didn't even, and it didn't even feel like a Karen angry. It, it felt wasn't. like a Rachel angry. Like, <laughs> oh go my for it, Rachel. God! All I wanted to say to you, Tiffany, was thank you for coming on to Tea Time. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Well, see you next see time. See you next time. See you next time. Bye. Oh my God. <laughs>